In this video, we're going to install Docker for desktop. Uh, to install Docker for desktop on your Windows 10, you need to have a Windows 10 Pro Enterprise or Education because Docker for desktop uses Hyper-V uh, and that's only available in those Windows uh, versions. If you have any other Windows uh, installation, you can still use Docker Toolbox, but in this uh, installation, we're going to show um, Docker for desktop on a Windows 10 Pro. Uh, to get started, we can either click this link for a download from Docker Hub, or you can just look it up on Google, um, Docker Desktop for Windows, and one of the links, top links is going to be this hub.docker link. Uh, to be able to download the installation file, you need to have a Docker Hub account. If you do not, just create an account at hub.docker.com, and once you have logged in, you will be able to uh, download this installation file. So I'm going to just uh, save it in the download folder, and it's a pretty big download about 500 uh, megabytes, so you want to be in a pretty decent internet connection to be able to download it fast enough. Just finishing up. Uh, just did. Okay. So once it finishes, we can then come in and start the installation of Docker for Windows. And this is going to go ahead and download some things. So it's asking us for configuration, uh, such as uh, add shortcut for shortcut to desktop. Uh, this option is super new. It's for adding Windows containers instead of Linux. Uh, for our use case, we want to keep all our Docker installation kind of similar. So I'm going to just uh, not select that for now. But we're going to add the shortcut for, to the desktop. So that's going to just unpack the downloaded files and put Docker in the path and everything so that we can use it from our terminal next. So once the installation is complete, we're going to get the installation succeeded. Uh, so once that finishes, so we can start the Docker desktop application. Um, so once we do that, you should see a Docker desktop is uh, running a notification or also that animation of the Docker um, logo on the system tray. That can take a um, few minutes, so give it a little bit of time for that to get started. Once the Docker desktop starts up, you're gonna give in this welcome screen. You can log into your doc using your Docker ID to Docker Hub, but for us, we're gonna just skip this for now. We're gonna do that later, but we can then come and see that Docker is uh, desktop is running, um, so we can. So let's start up a new PowerShell and test Docker version. And we can see that Docker is running and Docker version 18.09.2 was installed. So was uh, Docker Compose. Um, so with that, we can say our Docker installation for Windows is complete. Uh, there are some other setups we could do in our preference, but for now we're gonna just keep ex uh, the simple Docker installation uh, for now. So, uh, so if you are using a Windows uh, system, this video, you can skip the other two videos, but if you're trying to install the Docker system for Linux or Mac, you can watch the previous two videos that's going to be linked somewhere in the screen right now.